weapon, also known as Shadow Link. I am going to review some Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Hit the follow, hit subscribe, join my Discord if you want to see more. But I let's go into the review. So Sonic Adventure 1. Sonic Adventure 1. Let's start this. Let's see if I can start it. Okay. So the reason I'm going to start like this is I want to start out with the game itself. Ah, oh, crap. I can't. Where's the... Oh, there it is. Nope. Don't you dare. Okay, here we go. Oh, nope. Do, 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 do. There we go. Okay, oh. So what I wanted to talk about is that this game has a lot of flaws. Wait, hold on, music is too loud. Music is too loud, it's blaring. There we go, blaring. Okay, is it still blaring? I think it's still blaring. All right, there we go. Now it's not blaring anymore. Select a, select a fire. Okay, so I want to talk about different modes here. Select a character. So as you can see right here, whenever you, you start out as Sonic, and then you keep on playing until you unlock other characters, and then you unlock Tails, then Knuckle, then Amy, then Big the Cat, then EO2, and then finally the true ending. Each one has their own mode. In the first game, the controls are as expected. They all play very similar. You move around in the map, and there's these little points that tell you where to go. They'll tell you exactly where to go. Tails gets multiple movesets. There's these little things that unlock. And of course, uh, you can talk to people. The jumping homes in on your target in the first game. Which does help because it uh, avoids dying instantly to stupid things. But the camera, of course, is still terrible. In this version of this game... The camera moves around and faces the opposite direction. The At, for the like right here, the camera will face behind me. But not as bad as in the second game. Tails flies around. Every, there's no robots, no nothing. They have a flight ship, which is really good. In my opinion, the game has issues with uh, knowing where to go. The camera is still bad. I'm gonna give this game a five out of a five point five out of ten. It's fun game a little bit. It has good music. It could be improved better. The game is kind of weird. Like for example, Big's a cat. Each this is something I didn't mention. Each character has their own stage. And they're based on something. Big the Cat is about fishing, catching froggy. Amy has her own stage where she runs away from robots and stuff. The controls are not great for her. They're alright. The best controls are for every The best controls are from Sonic. Knuckles and Tails. I don't... Even 102 is not great either. The controls is okay for EO 102.
But it has that weird targeting system that follows up on second game. If they fix these problems, I think it could get higher rating. Maybe even higher than the second game. Because the second one does more, more things that are obnoxious. Now for the second game. Now for second game. The first one is 5.5 .5 out of 10. Because it run around a lot, you aimlessly run. It's not very well done in certain areas. Now the second one has also great music. The parts with um, the parts that have Sonic and Knuckles are good, and the parts with Rouge and and uh, of course. The parts with Rouge and Shadow the Hedgehog are good. But the parts with Tails and with... The one with Tails and with Robotnik are bad. And the only reason is because they have a really terrible targeting system. Let me show you what I mean. Intruder alert. alert. Intruder alert. alert. Security, Security breach at AK3. <clears throat> The controls for the controls are really laggy and slow. And the 3D, the 3D controls are actually worse in this game than the first one. In this game, when you're jumping and trying to avoid stuff, because the camera constantly refocuses to fa focus behind you instead of front of you, and because you have enemies that are throwing their tentacles up in the air and they always home in on you. They give you these cheap attacks where you get hurt and you can't avoid it. It's not good. It's just not good at all. The controls are really, really wonky with the targeting system. Not good at all. Camera and the thing and the Targeting system are actually worse in this game than the first game. On the other hand, Stage select. take for example, let's take for example the levels with Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog are really cool. Shadow of the Hedgehog has really well designed levels. As you can see, he's kind of skating on the rails and stuff. Very fun. Very, very fun level. Extremely well designed. Even late game, I kind of still, I really like the levels. I still like the Sonic levels too. There are these very fast paced levels that are extremely enjoyable. They're, you get to go really, really fast. And that's uh, Tails, I mean, that's the Shadow the Hedgehog. Sonic levels are very similar. The Sonic levels are very similar to that. They're very fast paced. Like this level here is a great example of what Sonic does well. Sonic does well when you go fast. They're fun to go fast. To me, it's all about good design and levels and good design and speed. 
That is what makes a good game and Sonic. Having a level where the parts where you don't go fast and you have annoying bullshit is not good. In fact, it's not good at all. Stage select. Now Tails and er now Rouge and Rouge and also Knuckles are very similar. They're fine. There's some people who don't like the levels because they're mazy. All of the levels are mazes on the second game. The first one were a lot easier to maneuver and figure out where to go. The second one is a lot harder. I still really like the levels. I don't mind them. I don't think the levels are bad per se. It is kind of hard to figure out where to go. But I don't think it's bad per se. Maybe there could be better better detection or something. I still kind of like the Rouge and the levels of Knuckles. I still really like the levels. What I don't like are, of course, the levels. Stage select. I don't like the levels of our little fox friend, Tails. I don't like the Tails level. I think the tail levels are really bad. Because the camera and the shooting are terrible. As you can see, the, ter the shooting is really bad. And it's really awkward and you have bad camera combined. Makes for a miserable experience. And it only gets worse with those blob things that came from the first one. It's just not good. Between the camera, between fighting the camera and fighting that, I'll give it a little bit higher rating than the first game because it's a little more polished. But the camera is worse than the than Sonic Adventure uh, One and. It's also worse than Mario 64. For this one, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. I like the story. I like some of the levels. I think it's kind of neat that they you can play as Robotnik and see it from his point of view. But I'm not. it's not my favorite game. I wouldn't come back to it all the time. I would love to see Polish done on the... On the camera, if they could cam if they can polish that problem in future Sonic games, it would be amazing. Maybe the ability to see from a top view, from above your head and down forward. That way, you could see what's in front of you, and you could see what's ahead. It'll give you a view also a little bit of what's right next to you. Because if something is, if a camera is facing behind you, you can't see what's in front of you. And you'll run out of uh, lives very easily. So that's my opinion. I personally think they're decent, but I kind of understand why they have issues. It's right around the time of Mario 64. And that is the video. Thank you for watching.